And the second, this is the first and the great commandment, and the second is like and dead, love your neighbor as yourself. And he said, on these two, Kenneth, you can hang all the law and the prophets. Not part of it, all of it. You can hang all the law and the prophets. All the law and the prophets. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. It says, for by grace, through faith are you saved. Not that of yourselves, but it's a gift of God, Brenda. It's a gift of God. It's not, it's not of ourselves, it's a gift of God. For by grace through faith are you saved. And it's not of works, lest any man should boast. In other words, if we're boasting about how good we are and how we deserve better than what we've got, you're going downhill. You're digging a deeper hole because it's already been bought and paid for and it's not of our works or our goodness. It's because of his works and his goodness. Now, I want to clarify this. God don't want us to sin. That's not his will. But if we mess up, the end of the world ain't come. You're going to get to go to heaven anyway. We've got an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. That's a propitiation for our sins. And not only for ours, but that for the whole world's. Brenda's talking about something tonight, and she's a good hand to get a feller off of his subject, too. <laughs> but, but you know, you know, she's talking about that being imputed. Kenneth talks about that a lot. If everybody that was a born-again Christian that had any inkling of uh, interest in the Scripture at all, if they learned exactly in depth what the word imputed mean, it would change all of our lives. That would be less like if Herb King didn't have no money and somebody imputed in his bank account five million dollars. Might not know who done it. But I could go up there in the morning and there'd be five hundred dollars. That's what the word imputed means. It's a deposit made to my account. Jesus Christ became poor that us through his poverty might be made rich. And then people preach that uh, God wants us to be poor and paupers and just have a cabin over in the corner of glory land and all this, that, and other. And the word plainly telling us in his father's house are many mansions. If it weren't true, I would have told you. So he wants us to be, he's imputed that to us. He's imputed that to us. He's imputed healing to us. He's put that, looks like in a hospital, if you had gallstones and you could go up to the hospital and have them gallstones removed, you'll have to lay around a while and recover and be sore and hurting. But when Jesus puts that in your hospital account, you just have to say, Father, the word of God says that Jesus, his own self on the tree, bore my sins in his body, that me being dead to sin, could live under righteousness and with your stripes, I am healed. He put that in my account so I can be healed. Matter of fact, here in the last few days, I've had another healing in my body. And I, I appreciate that. Helped me out a whole lot. I'll just be honest with you, it helped me a lot. I'll not go into no detail, but it helped me a lot. Amen. Helped me a whole lot. But you know something, Dad? He put that in my healing account. I can get me a check and write out that I need this done for me here because you've already paid for it. You've got it in my account, and I need so-and-so touched on my body here. Thank you that I'm healed. He put that in my account. I'm healed. Bless God, I'm healed. Healed. Blessed. Third John 2. Beloved above all things, I wish that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. If we're reading the Word of God and are trying to go by what this instruction book here says, our souls are prospering. Amen? 
you that's listening out there, I'm sure that some of you has got born again, you've got a hold of this, and you know when that happens, and I'm not speaking nothing bad, but your flesh tries to fight it sometimes. And I just feel like saying this, tell the devil to get behind you in the name of Jesus because you prayed and you received and believed that Jesus died for your sins and to get behind you because I am born again because I asked him to come into my heart. That's all it takes. The word of God is what the devil can't stand. He's put that in your account too. He put that in your checking account that you have the authority to draw out of that account to tell the devil where to get off at. Amen? Amen.